Ever wondered how your daily bread is made? Well, let's take a flavorful journey back in time. The humble origins of bread can be traced back over 5,000 years to the ancient Egyptians. Imagine that, folks. We've been noshing on this staple for millennia, and the basic recipe hasn't changed much. Just mix some flour and water, bake it, and voila. Now, fast forward to 1928, a year that changed breakfast tables forever. An American baker invented a machine that could slice bread into perfect, even slices. Can you believe it? Before this, everyone was just hacking away at their loaves with knives. This invention revolutionized the way we consume bread and made the phrase, the best thing since sliced bread, a reality. So, that's how we got to the sliced bread we know and love today. But how do we go from wheat to neatly packaged slices? Stay tuned for the next slice of this bread-making journey. Wheat, the unassuming start of our bread journey, goes through quite a transformation. This humble grain, the backbone of our beloved bread, embarks on a thrilling adventure. Once harvested, it's diligently cleaned, bidding adieu to all the dirt and grime. From here it's transported through an intricate pipeline system, a journey of approximately 10 kilometers. Imagine that, a marathon for grains. Now the real magic begins. The wheat is soaked, awakening the dormant grain. Then it's off to meet the mighty steel rollers. These rollers are no joke, they mill our wheat into submission, breaking it down into its finest form. But we're not done yet. The milled wheat is then sieved, separating the wheat from the chaff. This process is like the grain's final examination, ensuring only the best of the best make it through. And voila, we have flour, but hold on, we're just getting started. Welcome to the heart of the operation, the bakery, where the flour meets its dough mates. Here the bakery receives a hefty weekly delivery, a thousand tons of flour stored in towering silos. It's like a fortress of flour, if you will. And the yeast? Oh, it gets the VIP treatment. Safeguarded in a room monitored by computers, it's kept at the perfect temperature like a yeast yoga retreat. Now it's time for the main event. The key players, flour, yeast, oil, vinegar, sugar, salt, and water, are summoned for the big show. Each ingredient is weighed with precision, the kind of accuracy that would make a Swiss watchmaker proud. And into the giant mixer they go, with a few extras like fat and preservatives for good measure. They're the secret agents of longer shelf life. And let's not forget the hand-added extras like seeds or nuts for that extra crunch. With all our ingredients ready, it's time to mix things up. Now, this isn't your grandma's kitchen mixer we're talking about. This is an enormous industrial-sized dough blender that takes all of our carefully weighed ingredients and whips them into a perfect, pliable dough. It's like a bread-making ballet, where flour, yeast, oil, vinegar, sugar, salt and water pirouette together, with a dash of fat and preservatives thrown in for good measure. Once the dough has had its 8-minute spin cycle, it's ready to be divided. We're not talking about a couple of loaves here and there. No, this dough is sectioned into tons of equal parts. Imagine an army of mechanical arms, swiftly cutting the dough into small balls, each one then dusted with flour. Next, these dough balls take a trip to the gym, where they're folded, rolled and shaped into the perfect loaves. They're now ready for a three-hour fermentation rest, like a doughy spa retreat. After all that kneading and shaping, our dough is ready for a hot date with the oven. Ever wondered why bakeries always smell so good? Well, you're about to find out. The secret lies in the baking process. After fermentation, these soon-to-be delicious loaves are introduced to immense ovens heated to a toasty 260 degrees Celsius. Here, over the course of 20 minutes, they transform from doughy blobs into golden loaves of perfection. But we're not done yet. No, we can't have you biting into piping hot bread and burning those taste buds. That's where the cooling towers come in. These towers work like magic, cooling the bread for two full hours. Now, while the bread is cooling, quality checks are in order. Each loaf is carefully examined for taste, size, and shape. We're aiming for bread nirvana here, folks. Only the best of the best make the cut. Freshly baked and cooled, our loaves are almost ready to hit the shelves. There's just one slice of the process left. Here's where the magic happens, where bread becomes sliced bread. Picture this. Golden loaves fresh from the cooling towers now face their destiny, the slicer. These aren't just any blades, they're steel blades, replaced every fortnight to ensure the cleanest, smoothest cut. Each loaf is transformed into 20 perfect slices, as uniform as a regiment of soldiers. Now, it's time for the packaging. The sliced bread embarks on a conveyor belt journey moving at a speed of 65 slices per minute. It's like a bread-themed amusement park ride. Each slice is neatly stacked, then wrapped up snug in its packaging. 
It's like tucking the bread into bed, ready for its journey to your breakfast table. The entire process from dough to slice takes a mere five and a half hours. It's a labor of love, all for the love of bread. And there you have it folks, your daily bread, ready to be buttered, toasted, or sandwiched. So, that's the fascinating journey of how your loaf of bread is made. From humble beginnings as wheat in a field, through a 10-kilometer pipeline network, and into the skilled hands of bakers. It's transformed into flour, mixed with a handful of essential ingredients and shaped into loaves. Each loaf then takes a brief yet scorching vacation in a massive oven before being cooled, sliced, and packaged. All this, just to end up as the perfect partner to your morning coffee or the essential bookends to your favorite sandwich. Did you know that the phrase, the best thing since sliced bread, was coined in 1928 the same year that sliced bread was invented? Also, an average person eats about 55 loaves of bread each year, that's a lot of sandwiches. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications for more insightful content. Thank you for watching.